What's going on everyone? Hunter and Sherb from Misfit Athletics here today to talk to you guys about 21.5, our open simulation workout. We have 150 wall balls, 100 burpee box jumps, and 50 bar muscle ups. And this is kind of the uh, getting after, what was it, 20.5? 20. Yep. 20.5 partition as desired. So you can choose how to break this thing up. We're gonna go over our strategies here. Um, this is after kind of a lifting session. So if you're looking at the blog, uh, this follows some clean and jerk work, but we're just gonna give you guys the, uh, the Metcon for the day. So um, before we get rolling, we're gonna talk strategies. Cause again, we wanna provide you guys with some, some options, some ways to think about executing this, probably going unpartitioned is, is probably not the way to go. That was my idea. Yeah, that was a good one. I was just one. gonna go 150 straight, and then I'm gonna go to snack, come back and do 100, <laughs> yep. get another snack, come back and finish but those muscle-ups. You can do Karen Unbroken, so you might as well. Yeah. Just do that for like four and a half Wait, minutes. Wait, if I could do Karen Unbroken, I can stop? No, oh, okay, <laughs> no, I say you can go get a snack. <laughs> uh, so, we talk about uh, in training specifically, we want to put ourselves against probably a less favorable version for your strengths. So in this case, I'm going to do a version where I start with a big set of bar muscle ups, basically go close to a max set, but I don't wanna fatigue that completely out in the first set. So I'm probably gonna shoot for somewhere between 10 and 15 bar muscle ups. And then the other two movements, I have one I like and one I don't like. And I'm gonna try to mosey back and forth through manageable sets, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 and five or 15 and 10 kind of back and forth until I feel like my pulling can reasonably come back and I can get up on that pull-up bar and do another decent set of bar muscle-ups. What I don't wanna really do at any point in the workout is stand around too much. And what's great about these two movements, you kinda of gotta mosey through them the entire time where this one's more of the limiting factor and whether or not you can get over the pull-up bar. So big set of bar muscle-ups and then fuck around on these two movements until you feel ready to go. That would be the scientific term for that. Yes, fuck, fuck around. around. Got, it. Got it. Okay, so my strategy, um, not sure that I would do this in the open, but again, trying to give you guys some options here. Uh, I'm going with kind of the Cindy variation. So 10 rounds of the same number of reps every time rather than just going by feel. Um, so I've actually got two options written here. One of them, um, I'm gonna start with this one here on the right. And then if things start to go haywire on the left here, and this might be a good option for, for athletes who like, hey, 50 bar muscle ups is a lot. A so news. 10 rounds, 15 wall balls, five burpee box jump, five bar muscle up, five burpee box jump. Um, just kind of going back and forth like that. If I find myself standing around a lot, waiting to do my five unbroken bar muscle ups, which could happen, then I'm gonna break those up into three and two to, to kind of keep myself moving. Um, the downside with this strategy is that it really requires, like none of these rep schemes is, is anything crazy for me, but uh, it requires that you transition quickly and have to stay moving. Otherwise, it, you might as well just be kind of doing your strategy. So if you're, and again, like if you're going with a strategy like this, 15 wall balls, I think for most of us is gonna be unbroken every time, hopefully. Um, but it's how quickly, you know, what the footwork looks like on the burpee box jump. Uh, and then obviously bar muscle up capacity to a certain extent. So just not, not going out too hot, but you have to absolutely stay disciplined in your transitions and, and staying consistent. So all right, all right. Well, let's shred. Let's do it. Whee! Yeah. 
stretch. fitness <laughs> i didn't find it though i looked i didn't find it that was a fun time i'll uh as i was telling hunter out there 
I didn't really sprinkle in any wall balls until I want to say I had like 15 bar muscle ups left and about 40 burpee box jumps. So two, about two thirds of the workout through, I didn't do any wall balls. So big mistake there. I had, I had it in my mind that the wall balls would do more to my bar muscle ups than the burpee box jumps would. Um, just thinking like shoulders being tired and that's what's going to help me get over the, the pull up bar. So I tried to save them, but I think I saved them for a little too long because I didn't finish. I had like 36 wall balls left, which means I needed about another minute of just straight wall balls <laughs> to finish. So um, I do think going in with a plan like Hunter had, even if you do take more frequent breaks, I think they'll be shorter than what I took. I mean, if you watch the video, if I watch the video, I'll probably see like a solid five minutes of just standing around doing nothing. Out of 20 minutes, you can't really give up 25% of the workout. It's not a really good strategy. I wouldn't use it. Um, Overall, I was pleased with how our muscle-ups went. Did some big sets, but again, you know, it's part of what we train. We figure out what we can and can't do. And in retrospect, uh, I wish I hadn't done such big sets and I had been a little bit more along the lines of what Hunter said, but hey, that's how you learn. Uh, it's so individually dependent. I'd be, I'd be willing to bet somebody who's a little bit, like I, I'd say both of us are on the slower twitch side, like yeah. better, at, yeah. better at kind of grinding for a longer period of time. Um, Somebody who's a little bit more fast twitch, thinking like an Austin or somebody who, who would benefit from your strategy, I think is the right call. But for both of us, I think the way that I did it was probably a little bit better. So did you stick? I did, yeah, so I did, I started with the 555, five, five. Um, the bar muscle ups, it ended up being me waiting like, oh, I need an extra five or 10 seconds of rest before I know I can do five. So after five rounds, I switched to this, uh, and I actually did. I actually did wall ball, then bar muscle up, then burpee box jump, then bar muscle up, and I found that I was again like I was just kind of gassed coming off the wall balls, and like my dipping power was starting to go a little bit, like similar like kind of shoulder tricep fatigue. Um, so I was still like waiting to do a bar muscle up, but I remembered like oh I can. As soon as I drop the wall ball, like I can put my face down and start doing burpees. So then I made like the in-game modification to do, I guess it was the same, I guess it was this. So I had, I had like switched these two to start and then I went back to this, which was helpful because I just wall ball, like no matter what, I can lay down on my face and start doing burpee box jumps instead of staring at the pull-up bar waiting to feel good. So I like that a lot because I could just stay moving. Um, and breaking up the bar muscle ups was nothing more than just like enabling me to stay moving instead of staring at the bar. So that was shitty. I liked when I when I when I finally settled in. If I had to, if this was an open workout and I had to redo it, I would do the 15, five burpee box jump, three bar muscle up, five burpee box jump, two bar muscle up. Regardless, even though bar muscle ups are something slightly more in my wheelhouse, but and that's it. <laughs> yeah. um, I guess in, in like to wrap this all up. First and foremost, think about a strategy before you go into it. Don't go into this pig-headed and just say, oh, I'll just see what happens because that's not usually a good strategy. I did it for you know entertainment purposes today. But go in with the strategy. And then if you can at all possible, have some way of making sure you stay on that strategy, whether that's you're using your Apple Watch, you're keeping time of your splits, you're taking a quick glance at the clock over and over again, or simply just video yourself and watch and review because that is what separates, you know, the 99% from like the 99.9%. .9%. They know every single split, how they broke things up, how they attack things. So if you don't have that kind of memory, you can't, you're not intuitive with it, watch the video, learn from it and figure out how you can move quicker next time. Because something like this is 100% gonna happen again down the road. It might not be this year, it might not be next year, but it's gonna come back. Yeah, you heard it here first. Make sure you leave your score in the comments, drop it on Instagram, let us know how it went. We'll see you guys next time.